JavaScript is considered to be a loosely typed language. That means when we're declaring our variables, we just use the var variable keyword. We assign the name that is declaring our instance. And you can just declare an instance. You don't need to initialize it at the same time, but you want to make absolutely certain that you don't use a variable until you assign a value to it. So typically, programmers will declare and initialize at the same time. Now, we do have several different variable types. The browser, which compiles the JavaScript, can tell by what's in the variable what type it is. So here we have an int, and this is bad naming convention. Your naming should be camel case, like this. In camel case, the first word starts as a lower case, and each additional word starts as an upper case so that you know where the new words start. Makes it a little bit easier to read. This is an example of a float, which means that it has a decimal point. Uh, we have variable my name, that's Mary, that's a string. But this random variable just contains random characters and spaces. That's a string, too. If we were to put a number and put quotes around it, that would also be a string. In fact, every time we import information or get it from our user through a form or some sort of prompt, when we're getting information from the user, it will come in as a string, and we're going to have to convert it to a float or an int before we can do any math with it. The other type of variable that we can use is a Boolean. It's a true-false variable. You can also declare more than one variable at a time. Var start value equals 0, comma, total equals 0, semicolon. So the end of each line should have a semicolon, but you can put commas between values and declare a whole bunch of, va of variables at once. I personally don't tend to do that habit. I just like each one separately, but it's completely acceptable to do so. So these are how you would declare and initialize variables.